entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Diablo's annual fair and rodeo, September 5th to 12th. The next rider in the under-15 age group, Lonnie Morgan. Nice ride, Lonnie. Nobody asked your opinion. Hold your tongue, boy. That's no way to speak to ladies. Yeah, go hide yourself. And the time... Let it go, Lonnie. Four seconds. Somebody better teach him some manners. He'll be winding up in prison like his brother. He's a cinch to if everybody keeps trying to take the meanness out of him by being meaner. I suppose you try to cure him with kindness. I'd get a lot farther. Next you'll be telling me you want him in the Junior Pioneers with your brother. You know, Lockie, that's the best idea I've had about that boy. <laughs> well, look, Tag's riding next. The next rider, ladies and gentlemen, will be the great Tag Oakley, member of the famous Oakley family of sheriffs and sharpshooters and the pen-pushing secretary for the Junior Pioneers, world's greatest club for boys with tender feet, weak knees, and yellow spines. Fighting next ah! for the Diablo Junior Pioneers, <laughs> Tag Oakley. Get mushy in front of all these people. Well, after a ride like that, I've got a right to be proud. And I gotta go back with the other guys. Come on, Lofty. Sure thing. The next event will be the cab roping contest. You call that a bucking horse you were riding, son? Look like a rocking horse to me. Sour graves. Don't pay any attention. That's right, deputy. Watch out for him. Don't let him get hurt. Here, here, break it up, break it up. Let me at him! Tag, stop it! Let me at him! Stop let me go! Him, Tag. All right, that's enough. They've been looking for a fight all afternoon. What do you say we let them have at it? Fighting never solved anything, Lofty. Well, you know that. Sure, but it'll get it out of their systems. Tell you what, why don't you let me handle this, and neither one of them will get hurt. I use those new boxing gloves that came in this last week. The time for the flying W entry. When he's come on, Jared! Come on, Jared! Come on, come on! Come on. Come on. Whether you like it or not, Tag, you've been licked. <laughs> Fight's over. It's a well fight, Lonnie. Who taught you? My brother. Who else? Take that chip off your shoulder, son. What your brother's done means nothing to me. Oh, yeah? You put him behind bars. You and her uncle. Well, catching lawbreakers is a lawman's job, Lonnie. It doesn't mean we have to hate the men we catch. I just bet you wanted to be his friends, didn't you? He gave us just about as much chance as you're giving us now. Well, if we didn't want to be friends, we wouldn't be asking you, would we? Well, I bet he doesn't think that way. Tag, come here. I want you to be honest with me, Tag. What do you think of Lonnie? Oh, he's all right, I guess. He wouldn't rib me all the time. Aside from that, do you have any other objections to his joining the club? No. Anybody can box like him. We kind of like to have in our club. You see? Now, how about becoming a junior pioneer? What's in it for me? Well, the main purpose is to teach teenage boys and girls all about ranching and farming. You can learn a lot of things, Lonnie, besides making a lot of friends. How about it? I'll think about it. That's my sister! 
folks, and try your skill. Come one, come all. Win a big prize. Try your luck. I'd like to buy a tommyhawk, lady? Come one, come all. Five shots for a dime or 15 shots for a quarter. Your money goes to a very worthy cause, the Junior Pioneers Club of Diablo. Well, come on, there are plenty of cartridges for everybody. Here, mister, try your luck. Would you like to try a couple of shots, Lonnie? Don't have any money. It's on the house. Am I doing okay? You're doing swell, Lonnie. Did your brother teach you to shoot like that? But he isn't as good as you are, ma'am. Maybe he'd give me a few extra pointers. I'd be glad to, Lonnie. You know, I've been thinking about what you and the deputy said about me coming into the club. You mean you'll join? Yeah, but it's not because I want a lot of friends and all that stuff. I've got my own reasons for wanting to learn about things. Understand? Whatever your reasons are, Lonnie, they're fine with me. Now, how about that shooting? Oh, wait. Bring your left hand back just a little bit. It'll make it steadier. Hi, Annie. Any mail for me? Just some circulars. Oh, I wouldn't go in if I were you. The boys' section of the Junior Pioneers are holding their election. Secret ballot. Our problem boy in there, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what he told me, Lofty? He said he wanted to join the club so he could learn all about farming. He wants to put his mother's place back on a paying basis, the way it was before his dad died. Hmm. And you told me I'd never get anywhere with kindness. Oh, Annie, it's a shame you're wasting all this sympathy on a little kid. No, I got problems, too. And I'm much more your side. Election's over! Want to hear the results? Oh, I wouldn't miss this for anything. Would you, Lofty? No. As secretary of the Junior Pioneers Club 46 Boys Section, I'm supposed to make the following announcement. Lonnie Morgan is our new treasurer in charge of money. <laughs> Under old business, the new treasurer will read the financial report. Lonnie? In the club's strong box is now the sum of $256.90, taken in mostly at the shooting gallery at the county fair. We now entrust to your keeping this strong box, which contains the aforementioned sum. Lady and gents, this is a great honor for me, seeing what you know about me and how new I am in the club. And I'd just like to say that I'll guard this money and take care of it with my life. Under old business and new business, I make it a motion to adjourn. I, I second, second it. it. All in favor? Unanimous. Meeting adjourned. I've been thinking maybe to keep this money safe, it ought to go into the bank. Well, the bank's closed now, Lonnie. We can take it over first thing in the morning. Well, what could I do with it tonight? I'll show you a safe place. money in there, Lonnie. Now we'll lock it up. Next to the bank, I guess you couldn't find any safer place than the sheriff's office, could you? <laughs> How about riding home with me, Tag? Mom won't believe me when I tell her I'm treasurer, but she'll believe you. Can I, Annie? We'll be back by supper time. I will. You know I wouldn't miss a meal. Come on, Lonnie. You know, that was a smart move, making Lonnie treasurer. Those boys are smarter than I gave them credit for. Thank you. That's what I thought. By the way, you didn't by any chance have anything to do with that secret ballot, did you? Couldn't let you know we were coming, Mar. You could have killed a fatted calf. Even boiled potatoes is too good for the likes of you. 
Oh, now, Ma, you had not to talk like that. You know we rode out of our way just to see you. Don't waste none of your wheedling manners on me, Clell. You rode out of your way because you were hungry. You didn't have no place else to go without being caught. My kid brother. Who's that with him? It's the Oakley boy. The sheriff's nephew? Get rid of him. What do you hear the news, Ma? I'm an elected treasurer of the Pioneers. Got charge of all the money. They elected you treasurer? Over $250 worth. Just think of it, Mom. Isn't that something? Yes, yes, Lonnie, that's fine. But supper's ready. You go in and wash out. Already? This early? Uh, never mind the argument. You heard what I said. But we just got here. Can't tag an officer. Stop talking room. back and get in the house. And you better start home, young man, or you'll be late for your supper. Yes, I'm... <laughs> Well, I didn't know you'd be home. How'd it happen? The warden seemed fit to give me time off for good behavior. Don't you believe him, Lonnie. He broke out of prison, him and his jailbird friends. That's why he didn't want to meet none of your friends. Now, Ma, you didn't have to tell him like that. He's got a hunted criminal for a brother. You can't sugarcoat a fact like that. We'll all be trying to live it down the rest of our lives. Come on, boys. Let's finish our supper. We've got a lot of riding to do. <laughs> to stand there watching us like we was freaks. Sit down, Lonnie. Bring us some more coffee, Ma. What have you been doing with yourself lately, kid? Nothing much. Well, didn't I hear you say you were treasurer of some outfit or something? Yeah, like Junior Pioneers. Tag Oakley belong? Yeah. It don't mean nothing to you that it was his uncle that nabbed me, does it? He was just doing what he had to. You don't think much of me anymore, do you? I've been thinking a lot about when you got out of prison. I would get this farm to work again like it was well, before Pop died. Your father would have been here yet if he hadn't had his heart broken. You stay out of this, Ma. Just keep on thinking, Lonnie. I won't be back for a while, but just keep on thinking. Huh? Just like all the Oakleys. Can't keep his nose out of other people's business. Do you know me? Yeah. We'll have to change our plans, boys. The kid'll be missed for supper and they'll come a looking. Let's head for the border now. Well, what about money? We'll get the money in town. Well, what do we do with the kids? We sure ain't gonna lead them loose to Ross out of posse. Oh, well, we can trust my brother Lonnie, can't we? If you take tag, you better take me. That way I won't be able to get to the deputy. Yeah. You can trust him, all right. Clell, don't take the boys. Don't worry, ma'am. Nothing will happen to your boy. Not to the Oakley boy either, Clell. Please. Nothing's gonna happen, Ma. Providing you don't go getting chummy with that log crowd in town. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> Has Tag come back yet? No, not yet. Annie, take a look at this. There's been a jailbreak over at the state pen. One of them was Clell Morgan. Well, say, Lofty, Tag rode out to the Morgan Ranch with Lonnie. It's just a thought you don't suppose. No, I know what you're thinking, Annie, but you're wrong. Now, Clell Morgan would have more sense than to break out of prison and run right home. Well, maybe he figures that's what all lawmen think. Stop being silly and get Tag supper. Hey, where are you going? Just in case I might need you. Well, Mike's Cafe has a special on barbecued venison. And don't you interrupt my supper unless it's a riot.
That's Annie Oakley, the kid's sister. We cleared out of there just in time. I've been thinking, Clell, about that $250 your kid brother's been riding herd on. That'd be plenty to see us in New Mexico and still give us a chance to look around. What do you say, pal? I can't. I promised I'd guard it with my life. Oh, it ain't that I'm asking you to steal it. I'll give it back to you when I get more. We don't want to be paid with stolen money. What do you say? No. What's the matter? Ain't you got no family loyalty? All right. That's the way you feel, Lonnie. But if people get killed, you know whose fault it'll be. Sorry, fellas. Looks like we'll have to do as we first planned. About what time did Tag leave? Oh, maybe an hour or so ago. Did you know there was a prison break, Mrs. Morgan? I know. How did you know? A neighbor lady told me that's how I know. If you think for one minute he's come here. Of course not, Mrs. Morgan. I'm sorry, I just thought you ought to know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Inside. Will that be good enough headquarters for a while? Mm -hmm. Decided on where to make the collection? The general store. The till will be full tonight. What's that for? I still think your kid brother here is the best bet. Get his gun. Lonnie, you're the only one that can get us out of this now. You brought this trouble with you. I'm not going to steal to get you out of it. Either you get the money, kid, or your friend here gets hurt. Don't let that scare you, Lonnie. Don't pay any attention. OK, mister, I'll get the money. Please, Lonnie, don't. You promised you'd guard the money with your life. Same goes for me. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Should have known in the first place I wouldn't get a chance to live decent. OK, mister, I'll get the money now. Hold on, kid. See if they stay here. Just remember, old Uncle Roof ain't so far behind he'd miss if you went and tried to play dirty. I got kind of worried about the money. Now, be honest with me. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just got kind of uneasy about the money. Thought I'd move it. I just got back from your farm. Your mother knew that Clell had broken jail, and she couldn't have known unless she'd seen him. You saw him, too, didn't you, Lonnie? You and Tag. You're not going anywhere, Lonnie, to tell me where Tag is. Boy's a little bashful, Miss Oakley. I'll tell you what's going on. Me and Clell need money right bad, so the kids offered to help us out. That isn't true, is it, Lonnie? You heard him. I don't believe it. They're making you do this. I'm doing it because I'm supposed to. So people expect, don't they? Lonnie, stop talking like that. Well, it doesn't make any difference. When Clell leaves town, I'm riding with him. Come on, get in there. Come on, stay here. Nobody got hurt. We can be on our way. You take the money and go. I'm staying. What's that? I got my brother into this, and I'm staying to get him out. That's where you're wrong, Clell. We ain't leaving you behind to guide a posse. You know too much about our habits. And you know I wouldn't squeal. Wouldn't be too sure. 
You're getting religion, and when a man leans that way, he usually falls in. I'm outside. Come on, let's go. The keys are behind the desk. They went out the back door. On your horse, Club. What do we do with the kids? Take them with us for insurance until we're in the clear. They ride double with us. Why ride double? So they can't get back in a hurry after we dump them off. Now, come on, kid. this. Well, you take the lead. I know, but he'll be all right. Ty, go get Doc Blanchard. Did we save the money, kid? We sure did. On account of I never even took it out of the office. I left it in the desk drawer where I knew it'd be safe. <laughs> that boy. And I want to let you know that I'm serving out my time, and when I come home, I'm going to help Lonnie get the farm back on a paying basis. I don't know how to thank you for putting in a good word for my boy, Miss Annie. Oh, please don't even try, Mrs. Morgan. I better go out and see how they're coming along with that cow. Cow? Oh, didn't Lonnie tell you? The Junior Pioneers bought a prize cow, and they're going to pay Lonnie to board it here so he can make some extra money. Oh. My fault, Lorthy. I told him he could hold her better if he tied the rope around himself. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the junior pioneers could use a few lessons in roping. <laughs> 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 